This one is for salespeople. If you're a salesperson and you need to track uh, 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 leads and uh, other people that you're uh, selling to, uh, you're going to need to look at uh, one of these systems that uh, we're going to see from Contastic right now. Oh, hi. Who are you? Hi, well, my name is Sai, and I'm founder of Contastic. Um, we are a sales company that does sales intelligence and enables salespeople to stay in touch with their prospects easily. Yeah, and so um, uh, what does that all mean? Uh, you know, uh, and maybe uh, let's just take a look at the product and it, yeah, so we have some context of this conversation. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so really quickly, the way this product, well, let, let me actually first, let me tell you a little bit about myself and kind of yeah. how we came to this, because I think it's very, uh, that tells you a little bit how we think about sales. Mm -hmm. You know, I used to be a data engineer at Microsoft, and then after my first couple of years there, I went into a sales role. So I was a field evangelist, and I was selling, helping sell enterprise software for Microsoft. And so I really take an engineer's approach to sale, and I really believe it's much more of a science than an art. And right now, a lot of sales is an art. People don't you know, think it's about persuasion and kind of smooth talking. And I think in reality, it's about you know, being very scientific, staying in touch with as many contacts as possible, being in front of those leads as much as possible in a positive way. Um, and really, we built a platform around that whole concept, around that concept of sales as a science. Yep. So that's fantastic. And then cool. So you have a screen in front of you. What, yeah. What's on that screen? <laughs> so what's on the screen is um, Basically, the Contastic Dashboard. It's an incredibly simple product. There's really only one screen. And on that screen, on the left-hand side, you can see all of the leads that we think you should be in touch with. And what we do is we scan through your Gmail, we scan through your LinkedIn, and it could be any CRM system in the future. And we figure out who's important to you, who do you need to follow up with that you haven't talked to in a while. And once we recommend that, like Josh here, you know, you give, get a quick review, so we suck in all of the emails, so you can see really quickly in one place, what have you and Josh talked about? You can see notes just like any other CRM. Yeah. And then the sales intelligence part is in telling you also what to talk to Josh about. So it's really hard to struggle to figure out like, what do I reach out to this guy about every month or every couple months? It's relevant and he'll find interesting. And so we actually ingest all of his Gmail data, all of our LinkedIn data, and we figure out what we talked about, what we have in common, and we use that data to recommend articles he may find interesting. And I find this one especially relevant. You know, it's about someone who's selling reservations from OpenTable. And he used to work at OpenTable and loves TechCrunch articles. So there we go. It's a perfect fit. We just pick a template to send it with. It'll load into Gmail. And now in you know, two to five seconds, we have a completely templated email with a unique hyper-personalized piece of information that Josh will love and hopefully find relevant and can spark a nice serendipitous conversation so we can see if there's a way for us to do business together. Wow. Okay, let's go back to the uh, dashboard. Your system, you said Contastic is looking into email and into uh, LinkedIn, mm -hmm. uh, trying to pick people that are important. Mm -hmm. What is it looking for and how can I make it better? Because I, I know machine learning systems, they're, they're good guesses, yep. but they're not always the best guess, right? Absolutely. So we look at a bunch of different signals, but more or less it boils down to kind of three major things. One is your email frequency and volume. So what are the patterns? You know, are, do we talk yesterday? Are we talking, you know, 10 times over this year? Or did I meet you one time at a party five years ago and never talk to you again? You know, that's one important signal. The second is LinkedIn. You know, what's your title? What's your industry? And what am I looking for? You know, there's a lot of signals from what LinkedIn gives us or any other CRM that we can understand how important you are to my business. For example, if I sell into CIOs or you know, CTOs, then hey, if you're a CTO or CIO, you'll bubble all the way up to the top. And then the last thing, which is probably the most important, is activity. So we'll rotate this list a little bit every day, and you can ignore different people. So you can explicitly hide people, or you can ignore them. And every time you ignore them, there's like a little down wave. And then the last thing is we look at who you contact. You know, so those three elements we put together, and at the end of the day, what we want to do is string together all the breadcrumbs that lead to a sale. So we want to say, here are two or three emails or two or three interactions that at the end led to a sale. That's our model. Let's train everything else in a recommendation engine against that model. Does it know that you're an existing customer at all, or is it just for sales leads? 
So not yet. So we haven't integrated with Salesforce yet, but that's something we're working hard on right now, and that's next on our list. You're absolutely right. That's exactly what we need to do. So it, it's not really a competitor to Nimble. Nimble is a customer relationship management. It's a, mm -hmm. almost a contact replacement. Once I sell something to you, I put you in my contact list, right? Exactly. Um, is that where I'm going? Yeah. Tell me about the competitive landscape for this product and, and where you fit in, because that'll help salespeople decide you know, whether to use you instead of like Salesforce, for instance. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, so where we think the industry is going is that you know, Salesforce and Nimble are great at CRM. They're great data stores. They're great at consolidating information. And they've done a really good job. And they have these great APIs that we, kind of in the sales intelligence industry, want to build upon and really draw insights out of it. So yeah. we don't want to help salespeople record better. We want to help them sell better. We want to help them get better. Almost think of us more like uh, Google Analytics for salespeople. You know, it would be crazy for you to be running you know, your website without Google Analytics. It's just as crazy to run a sales team without hard analytics, without the ability to test, to optimize, and really treat it like a science. Yeah. Do you uh, track this person over time then, and uh, do you start putting in things like lifetime value as a customer, uh, stuff like that? Not yet, but that's a great idea. That's okay. something we definitely uh, would love to start that's, working on. That gets to uh, stuff bosses care about. You know, <laughs> how good are you? <laughs> you know, and do you? They have systems for reporting. Do you integrate into the Salesforce systems for reporting? Because that's sort of where the commission checks come from, right? Absolutely. So not yet. So right now we're the proverbial, you know, two guys in a garage. It's me and my co-founder Kevin. We've been working on this for about six months now. And we just closed our first round. So now we're able to actually go out there. Who invest in these? Uh, yeah, IDG Excel and Lightspeed were our two major uh, investors. Very cool. Yeah. And what, what else should we know about this? And maybe, uh, uh, you know, if a salesperson's looking at, at uh, a better lead generation system, what, what, what does uh, he or she need to know about the system to get started? I think the biggest thing they need to know is to get started with Contastic. It takes just one minute of your time. So one minute and three clicks. You click get started, log on with LinkedIn, log on with Gmail, and you're ready to go. We, we pre-populate everything. There's no additional work, there's no setup, there's no categorization, there's no nothing. You know, my day is good. You know, I feel happy and I feel like I've done my job well. When I see a salesperson go in, and on our Google Analytics, they're sending 20 emails out with Contastic in the first three minutes. Because in the first minute, I've shown them exactly what they need to know, they know exactly how to use it, and they're productive instantly. How, how much does this cost to use? Yeah, it's just $9 a month. And can I try it for a little while for free? Or Absolutely, yeah, we have a free trial period. You can sign on, get using it instantly, and then if you like it, you can uh, hopefully pay us and help us out. Now, you mentioned Gmail. Do you work, a lot of people still use Exchange. Do you work with Exchange as well? Yep, we're almost done with that integration. So we should have Salesforce and Exchange Online in the next couple months. Show me a little bit more on uh, one person's um, yeah, so I mean, the biggest thing as a salesperson you're going to look through is you're going to say, okay, well, I need to follow with Josh. What were my past interactions, right? And if you want to see something like, you know, last time I interacted with Josh, was Josh was in San Francisco, so we can click on this email and it'll deep link into Gmail and you can instantly pull up this piece of mail. So it makes that really easy to access. You know, again, I didn't do any work, this automatically indexes it, as does all the other interactions potentially. Um, we can see notes just like any other CRM. And then the last piece is, you know, we can see what Josh is interested in. This is a really, inter this is really for us the crown jewel technically because we built a really unique, completely unique in the industry, uh, natural language processing engine that's able to extract the key terms out of, you know, pages and pages of conversation, natural language text, and match those to other kinds of natural text. Right? That's a really hard problem that we ended up solving. I think that's a big reason behind our, our seed raise. It was like we solved a really hard problem that no one else had thought of. And I think that's, you know, a big reason I love working on Contastic was, you know, I think back to, you know, my mom, my dad, where my dad's an engineer, he's one of the yep. original inkjet guys, and my mom was one of the first salespeople at Merck. And it's that engineering meets sales. And I saw the same thing in my career, and this is really the same thing, where we're using data, we're using intelligence, we're using the bleeding edge that technologists like myself love and live and breathe every day and think is natural. And we're applying it to an industry where they just don't have it. Yeah. You know, if you look at the state of the art in sales, even back in you know 2010 when I was doing sales, my sales tool was Excel. Yeah. You know, sure I reported through a CRM, but at the end of the day, I ran my business with Excel. And there hasn't been a lot of improvement since then. And that's really what we compete against. Is we say, okay, yeah. 
everything else is so complicated you don't want to think about it. So you just go to Excel or paper or you know something very, very simple. Yeah. Let's give them a powerful tool that's just as simple. Are you uh, tracking where Josh wants to be uh, talked with the most? For instance, I, I know because I'm on every social service. I know if, if I want to meet Reg Snowgrass, he's on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And other people like my coworkers are on Skype. I know where, how to find them. I know when they're online and mm -hmm. I know when they're likely to uh, answer me back. Yep. Uh, and on and on, right? Everybody knows where their where their mom. Okay, mom is not on Facebook, not on LinkedIn, so I'll text her. You yeah. Know, or I'll call her, right? Or you know, everybody has a different way to get a get into their head, right? <laughs> into uh, are you starting to think about that? And are, are you hooking up to other social s systems other than just LinkedIn? Is where I was going with that because that's what you need to do to know where people want to be notified. Yeah, absolutely. So we're definitely learning about that. So the way we build this whole system is really going back to that end vision where we want to predict what leads to a sale. So we built this really, this data structure is very flexible and able to ingest data from hundreds of different sources and say, okay, well, when I contact Robert on Twitter, it's effective. Or when I contact my mom via the phone, it's effective. Or I contact my mentors via email, that's very effective. So we're able to really triangulate the method the timing, the content, all together to say what are the steps that equal a sale. Yeah. And let's optimize, let's create a data model based on that, based on your company, based on your industry, based on everyone we have on Contastic. Yeah. And let's use that to recommend for you exactly what you need to be doing to close a sale. Yeah. There's no way, uh, you know, if you're a salesperson and, and you could actually look at somebody's calendar, for instance, uh -huh. like right now, I'm in a meeting. So if you're trying to sell me something, not a good time to call. Yep. Right? And it's on my Google Calendar, but it's, it hasn't been share, shared with all the salespeople in the world. And I, I don't know that I would want them to see when, I, when I'm busy and when I'm not. But if you could figure that out somehow, you, you would figure out, oh, don't call somebody on Monday because they're booked with meetings all day long. Call them on Tuesday when they're not so booked. You know? Absolutely. And we can see a lot of that through email responses. Like, you know, a couple interesting things we found out, right? Like one is Sunday night is a great time to contact people because mm -hmm. they're not in meetings. They're typically catching up at home, you know, maybe with a family, but same from the TV doing some email. That's a very effective time. Middle of the day is not an effective time. People are usually swamped. So whenever you send email, you want to do it, you know, Sunday evening or, you know, morning or afternoon or morning or evening during the weekdays and not Friday and absolutely not Saturday. Or you say subject line. You know the most effective subject line that we found is, "Hey Robert, hey first name," uh, performs up to twenty times better than any other subject line for cold emails. Interesting. You know, it so you're me. actually tracking the the uh, return of an email. Exactly. Because that's we want to help you get better. We yeah. want to make this an analytics product, and we want to help sales become very scientific and understand. You know, it's not just art. It's not something where you know I've been selling for ten years and I have this all this stuff in the back of my head where it's kind of alchemy. We want it to be a science where it's say, hey, this performed 6% better. This performed 20% better. You know, and that adding up, you can get three, four, five X on your response rates. Not only that, but also understand, you know, what white paper in your company performs the best. When I was at Microsoft, we have thousands of white papers. We produced a whole booklet every, every quarter. Uh, but man, it's really hard for salespeople to read. And I think any salesperson in a big company knows what I'm talking about. Yeah. If we can give you that one page, that one battle card, that one white paper that just leads to a sale every single time, wow. You know, that's going to be really powerful for the marketing of the company, for the salespeople, and it's going to help you close deals. Very cool. Where do we get it? Uh, at getcontastic.com. Very cool. And it's spelled uniquely, so it's spell it out. Uh, G-E-T-C-O-N-T-A-S-T-I-C. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thanks.